Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine. Uh, this guy I've met, I, I, Gary, how long have I known you? Oh, too long. <laughs> probably, probably 15 years I've known this guy. Uh, Gary and I never used to get along very well because he, uh, he nailed me on a couple things. One, I, do you remember the hand railing? There was a hand yeah, railing yeah. on Louisiana Avenue. Hand railing is and, and I had a two by four and, yeah. uh, and he nailed me on it and, and I didn't like Gary at first. Uh, <laughs> But this is, this is Gary Graham. He's a building inspector in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I wanted to introduce you guys to this because this is a relationship that I have with this guy. I respect him. And um, as he's walking through my houses, he knows what I build and how I build them. But the relationship that I have with this guy, I wanted to have him share with you some of the things that he runs into from his perspective, not necessarily my perspective. So Gary, what do you have to say? Well, so far, this is a little bit different. And I uh, see a couple of things way um, that uh, routine so far in this room that you need to do. And one over here is one of the reasons, one of the, the things that I like to uh, tell uh, builders if they could, but everybody has their own style, bring your AC guy in first. So that way, if you got to do a fur down, like in this case, now you have to do the blocking. So you need to put that fire block oh, yeah. right along there. So a lot of times when you bring the plumber in- So the fire blocking gap. is, he's talking about this gap right here in between yeah. each stud, because that the even though that we we put the, the fire rated sheetrock on the ceiling to hamper that, fire can still come up through this chase right here and mm -hmm. get into that channel. So we right. gotta block that, right? Which which we'll do today. Okay, all right. And I see you got your sheetrock up there already. It's two sheets of five eighths. Two sheets of five eighths, so that's that's good. So that's yeah, that's one little. But I'm I'm not, I'm not talking about my house, Gary. But like, what are the things that you see as you walk through these houses? Well, like just like your daily routine. Daily routine. What I see is basically fire caulking. That's missing. Uh, sometimes the dead wood, like. Uh, Carpenters forget to put dead wood in, in, in some places. Um, on joist train. hangers. Joist hangers, yeah. Attic, attic uh, openings and stuff like that. Stairwell. Um, kind of like the routine stuff. Um, uh, nail guards, you know, with your plumbing. And another thing also is uh, stapling the plumbing to make sure you don't get that hammering. Yeah, you know, with the people, water lines. With the water lines. A lot of times people like to put that pex, but they just run that pex and you got uh, anything over, I think like six feet or something like that. Uh, you probably want to see that about every four, every four feet. So those are like some of the typical everyday stuff that I see. I try to point out to make sure that, uh, you know, folks do that correctly. Well, Gary's got an important job because he's here to keep the, uh, the, the city safe and, um, and he's been doing this for a long time. He really knows what he's doing, and I appreciate his uh, expertise and his knowledge. And uh, I wanted to introduce you guys to him as well because uh, he's part of the team. He, you know, he's, he he makes he makes uh, sometimes he makes my life a little more challenging, <laughs> but it's all for the better reason. So, uh, thanks for uh, watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Okay.